Greetings from the First Presbyterian Church of Naples, Florida on this Thursday, a beautiful day here in Naples, February 15th. I am Craig Goodrich. It's my privilege to serve as a senior pastor here. And I'm Rex Childs, the associate pastor. So we wanted to bring you Lenten greetings and some brief updates on the life of our congregation. It is mid-February. The season is here, as are the people, and many of you are back. It's been an exciting time. Some could not return last year because of Hurricane Ian damage, but there have been many joyful reunions on Sunday mornings, and the church is full. We've kept it at one worship service this January, 10 o'clock. Last Sunday, there were over 500 in attendance, and many of you are worshiping with us online, 250 to 300 a week, and telling us what a meaningful worship experience that is for you. We have dedicated our beautifully renovated narthex, which features the inspiring St. John's Bible. We have had Gen Wee Sundays with youth and children. Uh, Bryce has had music, season of music concerts, and we really are in full swing. Last Sunday, was our Deacon Sunday, where if you were here, you could meet your deacon. It is a wonderful time. So Rex, tell us a little bit about Lent. Yes. So yesterday we kicked off the Lenten season with our Ash Wednesday service, uh, a service in which we contemplate our mortality with the imposition of ashes on our forehead. Uh, but the season of Lent as a whole is a time to go deeper in our faith, to prepare ourselves for Holy Week and the joyous celebration of Easter. And so we have lots of opportunities for you to uh, go deeper in your faith this Lenten season. Uh, in lieu of a Lenten devotional this year, we're encouraging you to uh, read two chapters a day of Scripture. And if you do that, you'd be able to get through the Gospels when we get to Easter. So start with the Gospel of Matthew Read two chapters a day, and you'll make it all the way through John when we get to that joyous day of resurrection. Uh, we also, Bryce is offering his weekly Lenten concerts on Wednesdays at noon. Uh, just a half hour time of, of beautiful music. We hope you'll come and enjoy. Uh, we will have a couple of volumes of the St. John's Bible out, both before and after the concerts for you to uh, look through and enjoy that as well. Uh, and a really special treat is that Bryce always uh, takes a few folks back behind the curtain to see the organ pipes. So if you've never done that, I really would encourage you to do that. It's a magnificent uh, musical instrument. Uh, following the Lenten concerts on Wednesdays at 12.30, uh, Nancy will be offering a sacred habits class, a time where you can go deeper into spiritual practices. So we hope you'll come at noon for Bryce's organ concerts. Stay as well with Nancy for some spiritual practices. A word about finances. Great news. We finished 2023 in a strong position with another surplus we thank you for your generosity and your giving. And we are now in phase two of our generosity campaign for this year, 2024. Our theme is Today, Tomorrow, Forever in God's Care. We began the campaign last fall, and thanks to 230 of us, we have now uh, reached in commitments $1.375 million dollars on our way to a goal of 1.7, so just 325000 to go. Uh, we encourage you to pledge to make a commitment. It helps with our planning. We hope to give a 3.2% cost of living increase to our exceptional staff this year. And giving is good for us. It's not just to support the ministry of the church. It does that but it also releases us from the grip that money has on our hearts. Henry Nouwen put it this way. He said that, that um, whenever I am generous, I move from fear to love, and that's certainly true. Andy and I, my wife and I, we tithe. Actually, we more than, than tithe, and this year we've increased our pledge by 16%. So we hope that you will give, give generously, 
You may pledge online, go to our website, or again, return a pledge card this coming Sunday, February 18. And we thank you. Rex. Yes, and thanks to your generosity, we will see a 20% increase in our mission budget this year. We're very excited about that. Uh, we also have some exciting uh, things happening with Mission coming up we want to let you know about. Uh, on Sunday, February 25th, we'll have our annual Mission Fair where we invite representatives from our local Mission partners uh, so that you can meet with them in Spencer Hall after the service, uh, hear about the great work that they're doing in our community, uh, and learn about volunteer opportunities at the various organizations. Uh, we also will have, coming up on Saturday, March 9th, our annual Meals of Hope packing event. Uh, we do need a lot of volunteers for that event, so we hope you'll uh, sign up and join us for that. It's a time of uh, really organized chaos where we pack tens of thousands of meals together for people here in Collier County that are in need. So if you have uh, questions or need more information, please call the church office. We also have some information on our website. Thank you. So a lot going on. Uh, we can't mention everything. Just a couple more. On uh, Wednesday, March 6th, we'll have our Irish Fling dinner. Uh, look for information about that. The 16th and 17th of March, my good friend and colleague and mentor George Wirth will be preaching, and we'll have a Saturday session as well. So finally... Some words from a devotion that I read every day. You can see it's a bit tattered. The late Eugene Peterson, who was the author of The Message, Presbyterian minister, for today writes these words. Religion that is a matter of careful moral calculation is all wrong. The gospel requires a leap of faith. Christ does not counsel a safe, manageable morality that anyone can learn in 10 easy lessons, but a reckless, adventurous life commitment. And then this prayer. I do not want to be a religious bookkeeper, Lord, but a faith explorer, ready to take risks without counting the cost, ready to love without taking out insurance against suffering, ready to plunge into obedience without calculating my rewards. I love that, being faith explorers. Let's be faith explorers this Lent in our living and in our giving and in our life together following our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Blessings and peace and gratitude to you. Amen. Amen.